Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 taking the bullet moments in movies. I think that I actually thought that we were brothers. I would have taken a bullet for you. For this list, we're looking at movie scenes in which heroes dive into the line of fire to save a friend or ally. Also, given that the shootouts tend to take place around the climax of the film, a spoiler warning is in effect. Which of these characters would you take a bullet for? Tell us in the comments. Hey Mojoholics, for a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com slash play. Number 10, Jim Gordon takes a bullet for the mayor, The Dark Knight. Lieutenant Jim Gordon knows the Joker is gunning for Mayor Anthony Garcia as part of a killing spree that aims to unmask Batman. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Because we found his next target. He's put it in tomorrow's paper. Unfortunately for Jim, he doesn't know how or when the maniacal killer clown will strike. As it turns out, the Joker comes in the flesh, albeit minus the face paint, to deal the killing blow himself during one of the mayor's public appearances. At the last second, Jim Gordon throws himself into the path of the bullet meant for Garcia. Surviving his wound, he uses the incident to fake his death in order to protect those close to him, while continuing to hunt down the Joker. Could you please just give me a minute? We got you, you son of a bitch. Number 9. Janko Saves Schmidt, 21 Jump Street When police partners Janko and Schmidt infiltrate a high school to investigate a dangerous new drug, their unlikely friendship is put to the test by the social pitfalls and pressures of adolescent life. Look at yourself! You're in too deep, man. Yesterday I found a college application on your desk. I don't know how long this case is going to last. But in a standoff with the drug's creator, Mr. Walters, it's up to Janko to save Schmidt, who can't shoot back for fear of hitting classmate and love interest Molly. In heroic fashion, Janko dives in front of his partner, taking a bullet in the arm and another in the vest, and allowing Schmidt to save the day. Took a bullet for me, man. Yeah, I'm feeling a little ambivalent about that right now. Did you hear me? I said don't move. I said that. You heard right? Eric, you heard me? I said don't move. Eric, help me. You got this. Hey, hold. It's a favor Schmidt tries to repay in the sequel with less than stellar results. I tried to take a bullet for you, man. Hey, but you didn't. But I tried, it's the thought that matters. No, it's not the thought that counts. Number 8. Quicksilver Human Shield Avengers Age of Ultron Blink can you'll miss him. You didn't see that coming? Quicksilver's time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe was sweet, but undeniably shorter than most would have liked. In his main appearance to date, the brash, quick-tempered superhuman finds himself fighting on the wrong side. What? You didn't see that coming? But after realizing Ultron's evil intentions, Quicksilver and his sister join the good guys, fighting with the Avengers in the Battle of Sokovia. As a rain of bullets moves toward Hawkeye and a Sokovian child, Quicksilver rushes to intercept, making the ultimate sacrifice to save the innocent. You didn't see that coming. His time may have been brief, but he left the MCU a true hero. Number 7. Perry Saves Harry Kiss Kiss Bang Bang With professional killers hot on their trail, Private investigator Perry Van Shrike decides it's time to give thief-turned-actor Harry Lockhart some tough love. They're in too deep and he tells Harry to go home. Go home before something bad happens to you. What, are you threatening me? No, moron. What? Go home before the bad guys do something bad right. to you. The bad guys, right, I get it, right, fine. Of course, that's not what happens and when the duo find themselves in a shootout, Perry pushes Harry behind him, taking most of the impact of a bullet that passes through Perry through the book in Harry's pocket and into his chest, just a little bit. Come on, we gotta go. They're coming back around Harmony's down there. Harry, let's roll. Still, the move gives Harry the chance to keep fighting, both saving the day and getting the girl. Harry, 
Oh, no, 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 look. Oh, Harry. Check out, you want to see something cool? Oh, oh cool. <laughs> it stopped the bullet, Harry. <laughs> Number six, Hooch saves Turner. Turner and Hooch. Suffice it to say, Turner and Hooch don't exactly hit it off right away. And when circumstances force Turner to take Hooch home with him, well, things get a lot worse before they get better. They're running out of doors! Oh no, no, she cannot spend the night! But in the course of an investigation into the murder of Hooch's owner Amos, Man and Mastiff begin to bond and together confront corrupt police chief Hyde and money launderer Walter Boyette. Look, I know you and Boyette are laundering money. You've got the perfect setup here. This small town where nothing ever happens. Built-in police protection. I even know how you're doing it. In the final firefight, Hooch bravely takes a bullet for his new best friend, perishing in the process. But not without leaving a new, smaller, but equally destructive Hooch behind. You will not hide from me! This is not your room. Number 5. Danny Shields Angel – Hot Fuzz In a movie that parodies dozens of other action films, it's no surprise that this buddy cop comedy manages to squeeze in a taking the bullet moment too. Point Break or Bad Boys 2? Which one do you think I prefer? No, I mean which one do you want to watch first? You are pulling my leg. Motivated Metropolitan Police Officer Nicholas Angel and his new partner, the affable, immature, and rotund Danny Butterman, aren't exactly peas in a pot. And you won't be an amazing police officer until you understand that. Well, I remembered something else you said in all. Oh, did you not? Yeah. You don't know how to switch off. But despite the odds, they bond when Danny rescues Angel from the sinister Neighborhood Watch Alliance. And as the dust settles after the final battle, Danny gets his own moment of glory, hurling himself into the path of a blunderbuss shot meant for Angel, and surviving to tell the tale. Leave it with us. Right tape. Sergeant Butterman, Little Hand says it's time to rock and roll. Bring the noise. Number 4. John Smith Saves Chief Powhatan – Pocahontas Seeing Pocahontas' love for John Smith, Chief Powhatan agrees to lay down arms. Her courage convinces even the colonists, who have come to rescue John and destroy the tribe. But she comes with courage and understanding. From this day forward, if there is to be more killing, it will not start with me. It's all love and peaceful sunrise until their leader, the mustachioed villain Governor Radcliffe, insists on spoiling the moment. Taking aim at Powhatan, he fires just as Smith pushes the chief out of the way and takes the bullet instead. Settle this myself! No! John! And putting his life on the line, Smith wins the goodwill of the tribe and extra points with his girlfriend's dad. You are always welcome among our people. Thank you, my brother. Heck, even the animals are finally getting along. Number 3. Lara's Invisibility Cloak – Crash She pulls out this invisible cloak, she ties it around my neck, and she tells me that it's impenetrable. You know what impenetrable means? It means that nothing can go through it. No bullets, nothing. We often see strong characters or allies sacrificing themselves and taking the bullet moments. But in Crash, it's a little girl who takes the bullet, or at least appears to. When he finds his daughter cowering under her bed in fear of stray bullets, Daniel gives her an imaginary, impenetrable cloak to make her feel safe. Later in the film, an enraged shop owner, Farhad, decides to kill Daniel, who he blames for a break-in. So, give me my money. What? What money? <laughs> Pay for my store. Give me my money. Honey, stay inside, Elizabeth! As the shot goes off, Lara jumps into her father's arms, hoping to protect him with her invisible cloak. And to Lara, it seems to have worked. Fairhawk's bullet was a blank. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy's okay. It's a really good cloak. <laughs> Number 2. Secret Service Saves the President in the Line of Fire Secret Service agents are tasked with protecting the safety of the President. But in 1963, Frank Horrigan failed to save John F. Kennedy from assassination. See, Kennedy's head being blown apart. 
If you'd reacted to that first shot, could you have gotten there in time to stop the big bullet? His attempts to protect the current president come off as paranoid, but he's vindicated when assassin Mitch Leary tries to kill the president at a campaign dinner. What the hell is he doing here? Who the hell gave you permission? He's here. His name is Jim Carney. You're not on this bus. I want the damn city, John. Oregon protects the president with a classic leap into the bullet move and is saved by a bulletproof vest, allowing him to jump back into action, dispatch the assassin, and put his past failure behind him. I hate desk work and I'm too old to go running alongside limousines. And thanks to you people plastering my picture up everywhere, I, I'm no good for undercover work. One more question. Before we reveal the identity of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Glenn steps in front of Mitch. City Slickers 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold. Harry saves Penny, Dumb and Dumber 2. And now you can pick up your Lifetime Achievement Reward in person. It's a award, you stupid bitch. No! <laughs> Ben proves his worth. Ride along too. Let's start with you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the bodyguard takes the bullets. The bodyguard. Ryan, what do you want me to do? You see those people standing there? They don't need to be there, right? This taking the bullet moment has it all. A skeptical protectee, slow motion, and a dramatic leap. As superstar Rachel Marin accepts an Academy Award for Best Actress, hitman and former Secret Service agent Greg Portman uses a laser sight to aim a camera gun at her. The ever-vigilant Frank Farmer sees the laser and rushes to protect her. He takes the bullet and then, with professional poise, turns to shoot Portman dead. Though he looks seriously wounded, he survives to enjoy one last kiss from Rachel and new assignments as a bodyguard. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.